Hello and welcome to the No Fame Podcast. We're back with The Lost Frontier, uh, our Savage World space opera. Uh, as always, I'm joined by some of my lovely friends. In no particular order, we have back with a new voice box, Matt Higdon. Hello. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we have Patrick O'Reilly. <laughs> We have Sinead Marguerite. Hello. And certainly last, certainly not least, we have special guest, Josh Fritz. Uh, you don't I, know how close I was to saying Sinead O'Connor. Just don't know. <laughs> it's this close. It wouldn't <laughs> no, be the that's first time. A, <laughs> that's not a <laughs> name. <laughs> Um, yeah, guys, thank you for, uh, for tuning in or listening or whatever you are doing. game everyone was was wild uh or the last two games um i got completely fucking destroyed uh in in combat really that's the only way that happened but you guys escaped uh a, a space station which was under terrorist attack uh you managed to find your way to a hangar bay uh where there was one ship left and sure enough who is on this ship is uh, the galaxy's most wanted man, Mr. Isaac Winters. Uh, he was trying to hotwire the ship and doing a terrible job uh, of doing so. You guys uh, managed to get away from the space station and found yourselves being chased by two uh, GAC fighters, GAC, the Galactic Authority Confederation, uh, assuming that you were, you know, the ones responsible for blowing up the space station. And Yep, they were kind of right, to be honest. Um, you guys managed. Uh, you took a few hits. Uh, you came pretty close to the end. And I fudged, not on purpose, the rules of space uh, space combat. So you guys got away. <laughs> it was all good. <laughs> uh, you live and you learn. But um, you guys kind of questioned Isaac Winters, and he informed you that if you guys were to tag along, he was out to uncover a big cover-up by the GAC uh, and sell those secrets and make a lot of money. That's what he does. He just he just sells information and gets cash out of it. Um, kind of a low-life type, type deal. But you guys uh, locked him in a room. Uh, he rolled really well on his electronics check to hotwire his little uh, comms panel and uh, <laughs> had a, a little analog set up to make his own little broadcast across the ship, even though he couldn't move, which was great. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys managed to repair the ship. You got the AI uh, back up and running. Hello, ship AI online. Uh, like that, for example. <laughs> and, uh, um, you guys entered hyperdrive towards the mining planet, which is actually in the interstellar systems territory even though the GAC landed a research facility there. So some shenanigans going on for sure. Upon entering hyperdrive, our boy Kanan, the, the heretic confronter, uh, experienced a, a mind-altering daydream almost where he, he was sucked into this completely dark realm with kind of like a, a black liquid covering the floor and then when he thought he could feel the warmth of the sun on his face, it was actually uh, some kind of creature lurking in the darkness which attacked him and uh, uh, drove him out of this this kind of daydream. Uh, but you guys managed to arrive at the mining planet and successfully landed uh, on the surface, given that the Lizard Wizard, uh, which is your spaceship, uh, <laughs> the Lizard Wizard successfully, uh, uh, or uh, sorry, the Lizard Wizard had the capability of 
actually breaching atmosphere and landing uh, on planets, which is great. And uh, yeah, you guys had to, most of you are currently in spacesuits because of the low atmosphere on this planet. We came across the GAC research facility uh, and started kind of poking around uh, our boy Liv, the the, the lizard folk, uh, uh, the, the Saran, 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 not Saran, right? Saran, uh, powered up the generator after finding it, after you guys noticed that none of the power was working. And as soon as he powered up the generator, it seemed like this black ooze that was kind of everywhere began to move and the dead bodies of researchers all around the facility began to <coughs> spring to life as it were and that's where we left off but we're not going to pick up there we're going to pick up uh, uh kind of like um you know in cloverfield when the the camera cuts to a different a bunch of different scenes of things happening uh perun our boy perun you're you're in a shuttle heading towards this mining planet. You were just hired, uh, basically as security uh, to make sure that whatever these scientists and researchers are getting up to on this planet, they don't uh, have any trouble with any local creatures or even locals themselves, people that uh, people and other things that might be living here. Um, you guys successfully land. A couple of days later, you're kind of taking in the perimeter you see some things off in the distance but uh you're not new to this and you figure it's just some kind of local wildlife and they probably won't bother you if you don't bother them uh, a couple of more days pass and you find um the dig site where a massive structure was recently uncovered and the scientists work for a couple of days digging this out uh and it seems like they go back another day and there's this like kind of black liquid and they carefully approach this black liquid and take some samples and bring it back to the research facility and you're accompanying them the the entire way uh and then nothing for a couple of days but then all of a sudden there's a dead body of one of the scientists found at the structure and so they you know it's it's there's not many researchers there so everyone's kind of upset by this but they take them back and put them in a cryopod um, to preserve the body until, you know, they, they can get them back to the, the home world. But overnight, the dead researcher uh, broke out of this cryogenic stasis, smashed the glass, and uh, system alarms go off all over the facility. And you find yourself in a, in a massive fight with a lot of researchers that you know that are pouring black ooze from their eyes and their mouth. Um, they're just attacking other researchers. They're ripping power cables out of the walls. Uh, you watch some of them, like this black ooze that's pouring down like their, their necks and their, their outerwear. Uh, and half of them aren't even wearing spacesuits. But it the ooze, the liquid, almost like it becomes a solid substance when they go to do something, uh, giving them the capability to crash through these walls and stuff. Um, it gets too hectic. There's eventually there's just too many of them. Um, the lead researcher, Katha, tells you to find safety, and she's got kind of like a last ditch plan to to try to calm things down. Uh, she more or less sacrificed herself uh, to cut the power to the entire facility off of a hunch that she had. Uh, and you've been kind of locked in, uh, you kind of closed all of the doors in this place and locked yourself in um, just to generate some atmosphere locally inside of these buildings. Uh, and you've got, you had some supplies, there's some food, obviously, and water to live off of, but it seemed like without the power, you couldn't send a distress signal. Uh, and there's still a bunch of, you know, the dead bodies, researchers uh, and such around. But that's where we kind of pick up. Liv flicks the switch of, uh, of the power and all of these uh, uh, creatures spring to life. We are going to uh, draw initiative because we don't roll in this game. That's right. We draw it. And I'm not going to make the mistake anymore of doing it manually. 
<laughs> Anyone have any questions? Sorry, I just talked for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Sweet. Um, How do I draw for initiative? I, I'll do that. Don't worry about it. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. And actually, in the in the Foundry chat, it'll actually tell you what you get. Roll. Um, ooh, you are actually the the Ace of uh, Wow, the Ace of Spades. Look at that. You're the Ace of Spades, Higdon. Uh, yours is actually hidden, I think. So. Um, so I want to keep it a surprise <laughs> where rigged it is. Yeah. <laughs> <Perusing> shit. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, this is where I messed up some of the rules, guys. The way jokers work is um, the same. If you roll a joker, which, Kieran, you rolled another joker. You roll jokers all the fucking time. It's insane how many jokers for combat you've rolled. <laughs> um if you roll a joker, yeah, you go whenever you want. You can go halfway through someone's turn. That's perfectly fine. Um, holding a turn is what I fucked up. If you want, if anyone wants to hold their turn, um, you have to go after someone's turn. I think in one of the games I said you can interrupt a turn, but that's not how that works. You just go after someone's turn. Similar to a joker uh, in some, some cases, but if you want to fully hold your turn, that's something you can do. Other than that, you guys still get standard movement. You get an action um, or like multi-action, whatever you want to do. And uh, free action or speech, all that good stuff. First up, I will unpause our little map here. Uh, Kieran, you kind of walk into this room and there's a giant um, stasis pod in front of you. And the glass is kind of shattered. But there is a body of a researcher laying in there. Um, All of a sudden above you... The lights come on, uh, the the racks to your side um, power on, and you see like uh, little lights blipping and, and booping. Uh, and all of a sudden, the black ooze that's pouring out from this thing, just it just cranes its head and juts up, uh, sitting. It, it hasn't lunged at you, but it's now sitting up, and it smashes the glass as it sits up. Hmm. <laughs> what type of vibe am I getting off of this creature? You're getting like cosmic horror, like oh, okay. zombies in space. This has gone terribly wrong. Why are we here? Got it. <laughs> That's the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, then uh, I would immediately pull my gun and my laser sword, and I would like to shoot it up close and try and stab it. Uh, amazing. Um, so, multi. Uh, remind me your feats that you took. Uh, I have ambidextrous and two-fisted, so I don't get any negatives there. Nice. You and Kanan are just fucking just just ruining (laughs) my game. Just ruining it for me. (laughs) Uh, Amazing. Yeah, roll your your attacks. Uh, So shooting and fighting, right? Yes. And a d6 with each. uh, Yes, a d6 with each of those. Okay. So for the shot, I got, ooh, six. Uh, I got a seven for my shot. Uh, seven, yeah, seven. Uh, you, uh, ranged weapons only need to beat a four, so yeah, for sure that hits. Okay, so uh, damage on my Glock is 2d6 six. for f- five total. Uh, five just makes it, actually. Yeah. Beauty. Uh, uh-huh. This creature is... It, it takes the hit and you see the ooze kind of like spikes out like the liquid freezes in place and then like falls off of it and it's like kind of just like uh, 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 shaking in place okay uh, so then with the sword I would spin and try and cut its head off if that's possible go for it um, uh, so nine total Nine does it. Nine hits for sure. So roll that roll that damage. Okay. Uh, so nineteen total. Oh fuck! fuck. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. That's like yeah, because oh, it's man. that's a. Lot. I mean, it says it's yeah. strength plus a d six plus eight. Yeah, that yeah, sounds right. So uh, yeah, that's 
Uh, its toughness was five, so that's not. Uh, what did you roll? 16? 18? 19. 19. So that's five, nine, 13, 17. So that's the the initial hit and three fucking raises on top of that. Brutal. Fucking brutal. This thing is absolutely. You just cleave it in half, and the, the black ooze still kind of is pouring out of it, but it is super dead. Okay. Uh, so that was your action, but you still have uh, uh, movement and the like. Uh, so then, yeah, I would move, uh, try and move down here. Is this a door here that I could try and get out? That now that the power's back on? Oh, it's a window. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is there no doors in this room? Uh, there's one door that you were standing next oh, to. The stairs? Okay, yeah. So um, from where I was, can I see out the windows at all? Since the power came uh, back what on? you can see on Foundry right now is exactly what you can see. No, oh, okay. if that makes sense. Like uh, most of these views are out. So there's three windows in this room, uh, and a stairs leading behind you back the way you came. Okay. So yeah. And again, I there's I actually... computers and and uh, the cryopod in front of you and stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, I would uh, probably come to this window and then on my next turn try and break it to get out. I think would be the option there. Uh, sick. You know what? Give me a. Uh, sorry if that flipped for everyone. Give me a, a, a smarts check. Uh, so whatever your smarts is, and also <laughs> smarts on your wild die. So not very good is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Oh, on but like an, that's the highest six, roll I got. Oh, rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. You fully believe you can <laughs> you can break this window of this research facility meant to you know hold back the vacuum of space for sure that, sound, that, that sounds right <laughs> that, that i believe in you i'm happy i'm happy you have some faith uh all right uh our boy prune is up next <laughs> prune you hear uh well first of all the lights above you in in your room come on and you're kind of just <laughs> okay uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you're kind of just sitting there and you're like, well, that's new. <laughs> yeah, fully. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Anyone out there? Kanan, you hear a voice from the door to your left. <laughs> Amazing. Um, do you do you have fancy uh, do you have fancy mud hands? I don't know what that means. <laughs> this is a bathroom, so that might not go so well. But you're talking to me, so this is step one. Is good. <laughs> are you? Uh, all right, Prue, who are you? Get, you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Prune, power's you get, on. Open the door. <laughs> you get you get a movement and your your action. Um, the action can be all uh, uh, you know, like kind of like D and D, a whole slew of things that you want to. Can try. I open the door? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. My it question actually is, opens. It's like powered up again. Yeah, if you click the door on Foundry, it'll uh, it'll open. Um, oh, you've unlocked it. I have unlocked it. Am I looking it, at at a a monkey with a top hat? No, uh, no, no I didn't. <laughs> not quite. Uh, uh, Kanan, if you want to describe what you look like to uh, our, our, and also Prune, if you want to also vice versa describe what you look like. <laughs> you first. So the door slides open, and you see inside, and it's just like it, 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 you look past, and it's just a bunch of like empty Hostess cupcake wrappers. And it is it is it is fully a bathroom, like it's a small bathroom, and but it's it's been made into like this like follow shelter type thing. <laughs> and there's there's wrappers everywhere, like you know, uh, ripped bags and tin cans and stuff. And uh, Haroon basically looks like a uh, Goldberg from WWE, uh, but like fully like tattooed all over the place with these like sigils. <laughs> um, uh, you know, just. <laughs> Some tight as shit pants, like, and then uh, this the uh, very uh, uh, Rambo esque style uh, bandolier going across the chest, 
uh, with uh, this this massive like a uh, laser Gatling gun just kind of like strapped on the front now, and he just kind of like kicks the door open, and uh, and they, where are you? I'm Kanan. Hello, Kanan. I'm Perun. Um, quick question, GM. Do I recognize any of the sigils that he has tattooed on him? Um, boop, as being boop. possibly heretical. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, make a, you know, make an occult. Give me an occult check. I think you actually, did you take a cult? I think you did. I did, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a five. Oh, five is a success. Um, you know what, Prune? Uh, do you do you believe any of your sigils are heretical? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Would Kane they're, believe they're, they're heretical? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely, they're old. They're old Slavic uh, um, religious symbols for uh, uh, the thunder god Perun in, in Slavic mythology, so. Oh, good. I'll let Kanan, <laughs> with that information, I'll let Kanan figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but, um, yeah, but yeah Higdon, uh, sorry, it, it's still uh, it's still your go, so uh, it's up to you whatever you wish uh, to do from this point. All right, well, when I open up the door, do I, uh, what do I, uh, hang on, let me pull up my map. Oh, I, uh, I should describe blue... Kanan to you. Oh, yes. Sorry, dude. Who's the bl- who's the blue face over here in the corner beyond Kanan? Uh, That's a heretic. That, that is what you're you're very <laughs> you're very familiar with. This is that is a security drone, uh, which okay. is now the uh, last game I described. I know you weren't here. Last game I described the uh, the blue glow of the security drone turns a deep red as. Also, from its like oh, joints okay. and gears, this black ooze is kind of pouring out. Okay. But uh, sorry, yeah, Kanan, if you want to describe what you look like for our, uh, our boy Perun. Uh, actually, I think he kind of looks rather unintimidating at the moment because he's not wearing his own suit. Uh, he's just wearing like a, a generic uh, space suit yep. that's just has a couple of like metal plates on it here and there, kind of modified into a, a combat space suit type thing. But uh, he's holding okay. a, a rather large fuck off chain sword, which is just a chainsaw on a stick, essentially, <laughs> and uh, and a laser pistol in the other hand. And uh, yeah, he's gonna he's probably going to hold his sword up towards you and uh, and just pretty much almost scream at you. Are you responsible for this heresy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will uh, just kind of like uh, with a, my, my hand just kind of like push the sword to the side hang on let's talk in a second and I'm going to turn my gun towards the drone and just fucking unleash the gap gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, I will say <clears throat> at the security drone yeah I'll say uh, if you're rolling on foundry uh, if you happen to have the chat open down at the bottom, you'll see trait roll modifiers down there. Um, if you can click trait roll modifier minus two, because you're you're kind of looking through two doors to try to do this. Two so doors, say, yeah, no, fully, fully, yeah. I'm gonna say it's it's not a clean shot, um, and and you're it's a Gatling laser. You're just gonna be like, oh fuck. So if you click it until it turns red, I think you click it twice and it turns red. Uh, okay, and, perfect. And then click your your fucking attack on that goddamn Gatling laser, and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Goddamn. Christ Almighty. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. Oh stop. He's already dead. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Shit. <laughs> Unreal. So I rolled a couple of dice and I got some numbers. <laughs> Even with the minus two on all of those attacks, you still hit four times, and one of those had like <laughs> three raises. <laughs> three, ra- three explodes. Yeah, that was twenty-six damage, sixteen damage, sixteen damage. damage. Holy fuck! God damn. Kanan, you watch this, this fucking <laughs> massive dude open the door, take his Gatling laser. And just, 
absolutely shred a fucking security drone. Uh, wait, hold on. No, let's. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he is. He was my big bad of this of this fight. Let's, just... <laughs> <laughs> let's clear this up now. That was my big guy. <laughs> was that like the equivalent of does a thirty hit? <laughs> Look how no, they massacred was... my boy. That yeah. was an equivalent of like of like I don't know like a ninth level fireball on a goblin or some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was like yeah. the old meteor yeah. storm. Ninth level disintegrate on a on a goblin. Uh, does disintegrate stack? I I don't know. If it does, um, <laughs> I don't know it does if he rolls it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he is beyond shaken, absolutely fucking decimated. But uh, because he's technically a wild card, while while he's marked dead, he'll be making vigor checks to see if he can kind of stabilize or, or whatever. Uh, Jesus Christ, Perun, <laughs> fuck my life. Um, <laughs> where's Liv? You Bring Liv back. <laughs> you, you say your name, Kanan? Yes, sir. <laughs> Maybe he's not a heretic. Yeah. They're not, they're not mine. <laughs> that was goddamn impressive. Listen, I went to take shit five days ago, and the door wouldn't open. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Been saving it up. <laughs> yeah, I was. I took snacks. My God. Uh, Peru, okay. any, any movement from you? Uh, no. Uh, un- until Kanan moves, not going to like push past him or anything. So, okay. you, uh, you can move. You have through. any friend? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can move through his square if you want. Oh, okay. It's All right. D- well, D&D I'll just move sure. him. He will allow you to move past. <laughs> I'll just move him into the room in here to see... Uh... You... Which way did you come through, Fed? The way you're walking now. Oh, okay. Yeah, Prune, you yeah. know uh, behind you... Uh, so the opposite way through that hallway you just came through... Is like the main, um, the main research room, like the main operation rooms. Oh, okay. Well, this uh, is the way I would have gone then. Okay, and then out the way you were heading is the ex is the cafeteria, and then the exit out of this this research building. Okay. Uh, you you walk in and see uh, what you're familiar with a, a massive uh, chamber in the far left, a bunch of main like computers that are all now uh, in their boot up sequence. They're now firing up. Uh, black ooze kind of pouring out of the main containment chamber that was kind of ground zero if you think about it uh a patient zero type situation uh okay. and then three of the researchers that you you once knew are kind of now just like jittering on the floor and shaking and slowly pushing themselves up uh up from the floor okay uh oh so the way movement works also i should tell you uh you got six movements, which is uh, just six squares, so um, however you wish to do it. If you want to run, you can you can run, but you roll a d6 to see how many additional squares you can run. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do more movement than I need to, but I am going to kind of spin the, the gun kind of around onto my back and just kind of like you know, smash my knuckles together a little bit and kind of run in and be like, all right, who locked me in and turned off the lights? <laughs> I love it. And I kind of got my like fist cocked up, ready to go yeah. as I walk in towards one of the researchers. Because I know, yeah. you know black ooze coming out of their eyes. I know what's, they're, they're fucked up. So I'm just going to have fun. Yeah, you, you were here for a lot of this bullshit already and it, it wasn't good. But now yeah. it seems like you've got some help with security. So that's all right. Uh, amazing. Next up is uh, uh, our boy Liv. Oh my god. Liv hit a fucking button on this generator and everything went tits up so it's like, it's not super great. Uh, I'm going to make a smarts check for Liv and you know what? I'll do it. Ah, too many screens. I'll do it here. Uh, smarts. Where's your smarts, Liv? How do I check you? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> 
Riddle. Oh. oh. Sorry, Grubby. Sorry, Grubby. <laughs> That's oh. terrible. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, Liv doesn't think anything's wrong. Liv kind of looks up at you, Gears, and gives you like a double thumbs up. He's like, <laughs> Hey, yeah, we got the power going. <laughs> uh, fuck, I, if I didn't crit fail, I would do something, guys, but I, you know, that's it. That's life, I guess. Sorry, that's Liv's turn. Sorry, Liv. <laughs> Next up. Oh, my lord. All right. It's the zombies. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh. Ignore me. I was about to say, Kieran, you rolled a joker. You can go whenever, but you went first this time, usually. Uh, we're going to have one of these shambling things kind of creep around the corner in gears. Now you see Liv is giving you thumbs up, and this researcher like, comes around the corner with ooze pouring out of uh, out of their mouth. It's like a, an older, kind of like an, uh, an older... Um, woman who has some like cybernetic aug augmentation her skin kind of has like this light bluish color uh she's kind of got some weird cyborg stuff going on there but yeah there's this black ooze just pouring out of her mouth and she just like uh uh goes for live uh, i'm gonna move all of them first uh kanan one approaches as you're watching perun just decimate this fucking android and then it, he runs into the other room, cracking these two brass knuckles. One is like electrified, and the other has like this red pulse to it. Uh, <laughs> you like turn around and see one of the zombies got up off the floor and uh, started coming towards you. Uh, I shouldn't have called them zombies, but you know I didn't know what else to call them. Uh, one ooze zombies. Up here. One, two, three, four. I wrote down Let's... ooze zombies earlier. Yeah, solid, solid. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to make a smarts check for this one. It's not great. It's not going to be great. Nope. Okay. Uh, that one's going to stay there. Uh, this one looks... <laughs> Kieran, you like look through the window. And you know that uh, it's always sunny meme when it's like Charlie and... Uh, uh, oh, fuck. What's his name? The buff one. Uh, Mac. Mac, thank you. Charlie and Mac are at the restaurant and they're like... <laughs> I don't yeah. know if that makes any sense. Yeah. But that's the meme in my mind of you and this researcher looking at each other through the window. <laughs> and it it walks... It seemingly walks away and you feel like it's coming towards you. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, this window is my only egress. One, two, three, four. Prune, you start to get surrounded, my dude. One, two, three, four. Uh... I'm counting out four because they are prone, but they lose two movement to stand up. So uh, just so everyone is aware of what's happening there. Uh, all right, I'm going to start fucking rolling some attacks. Uh, this one is against Liv. It's going to... Like a classic zombie. Oh, it hit two. Ooh. Five. Uh, that might do it. Oh, he's got seven toughness. All right. Uh, Gears, you watch again as Liv is like, hey! <laughs> the ooze forms into like almost like uh, less like teeth and more like uh, it whips out kind of like tendrils and then forms into like a stalactite type situation as it like uh, tries to bear down on Liv, but it actually doesn't manage to puncture his spacesuit. Um, Fun fact, guys, remember you're wearing goddamn spacesuits. <laughs> uh, who else? Perun, three of these motherfuckers. You know, I'm going to roll it here on my own because that's just easier. Uh, three of these mofos are going for you, my dude. They have a D8 to try to hit you. What's your toughness, Perun, if you could remind me? Hold on, I got it here, maybe. Do, do, do. Your toughness is eight. Uh, also, you're muted. I don't know if you were talking. Uh, you were, okay. I still can't hear you, but <laughs> I can read your lips. <laughs> Perun has eight toughness. There's a shield that has a number one in it. Uh, beautiful. Uh, the highest was a seven. So <laughs> all three of these, start, you just start like deflecting and like punching them back in the face as they're coming at you. <laughs> yeah. uh, as, as the hands come, I punch the hands. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I just get, I'm just, I'm just giving them all knuckles. <laughs> uh, and one more at Kanan. Kanan, what's your toughness? It doesn't matter. My toughness <laughs> is uh, currently nine. Nine. It rolled one. It didn't crit fail, but it did roll. You know what? Spending a Benny. Benny spent. Yeah, burn through those. Right. Well, I'm only allowing myself a max of five, so I want to make sure I have some headroom if you guys start going wild, right? <laughs> I don't want to miss out. Uh, it's going to re-roll that attack. Uh, seven doesn't do it. Does not do it. I don't want to spend any more bennies right now. <laughs> um, I want to use one more. Come on. Uh, my, my Live a little. Uh, all my zombie. That was all my zombies' turns, you guys. Anyway. Uh, right. Isaac Winters is up, and he's kind of like looking at you, Gears, and he looks over his shoulder. He's like... Jesus Christ, there's fucking... They're, they're s- standing up. And he's like, oh, Liv, watch out behind you. <laughs> Liv is about to get bitten. He's like, oh, right, it didn't get through. It must be weak. Don't worry about everyone. They're weak. They're weak. We, we'll take them out. Easy. Easy as can be. Uh, <laughs> Isaac is going to make uh, make some attacks. What's his shooting? His shooting is a D6. Here we go. Two and a one. Two and a one. He holds out his pistol. He's like, right. Looks back at you, Gears. He's like, don't worry, Android. I've got this. <laughs> Completely fucking misses with two of his shots. <laughs> he's like, he uh, he walks up next to you, Gears. He's like, right. I'm just going to stand up here. So we're like tactical advantage, right? We're, we're positioned correctly. Gears isn't a super expressive robot, but Gears is very <laughs> done with Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you, he's like, listen, I, I'm not a fighter. I'm more of a, a thinker. You know, I'm more of, I'll figure it out eventually. Like, uh, I know. doubt it. Uh, well, listen, all right. We'll 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 get to this at some point. Uh, everyone else, there's zombies, right? Oh, I've got comms. Uh, hold on. How do I, how do I activate? Uh, oh, uh, gears, don't, uh, uh, sorry, Android. Don't worry. I figured it out. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Isaac Winters. I just shot at some kind of like black ooze researcher. Uh, I fucking knocked its head right off. Easy as can be. Completely killed it. Just be aware. I think there might be some like other ones around here or something like that. All right, Isaac out. I'll keep guard. Don't worry. And uh, he <laughs> turns off his comms. <laughs> <laughs> That's Isaac's turn, everyone. Uh, Gears. Gears, it's your turn. Uh, so since Liv is so short, I can just shoot the zombie behind them with no 100%. worry, right? And yeah, I'm not shooting through Liv? Okay. I'm just gonna raise my plasma pistol, not acknowledge Isaac at all, and shoot this Why not? new zombie. <laughs> He's so crucial. <laughs> uh, so... Five. Uh, a five just does it. Just Six. makes it. Okay. They've, so that's. They've got a toughness five, everyone. Two D ten. Again, my main, my main guy was supposed to be that goddamn android. <laughs> that's eleven damage. Brutal eleven damage. Uh, that is one raise above. So, uh. These are what is considered in Savage Worlds an extra, kind of like a minion in D&D. So uh, they only have two two conditions. One is shaken and uh, the other is just, uh, I'm fucking dead. Um, you, you whip out your pistol and just blast uh, the face, excuse me, of this uh, humanoid researcher. And it just flies back and lands. So lands about, let's say five feet away. Why not? It's low gravity. Excellent. Go wild! Oh yeah, it's low gravity. My lizard buddy. <laughs> Liv like looks over his shoulder and he's like, oh, "Fuck!" <laughs> yeah. I don't think Grubby. I don't think Grubby does a voice, so I'm not gonna do a voice. I guess. <laughs> oh, <let's have>, oh fuck! <laughs> I'm Liv. <laughs> That's the best space cat. You can't go here, bro. Space cat, go. <laughs> um, fucking sprinkle. 
Right? <laughs> we all get that reference. <laughs> it's a rare occasion when, when all of us watch that show. Um, <laughs> sorry, yeah, that was your action. That was just my gears. action. Um, I'm just going to stick with Liv, though. You mean Isaac? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> all right. You stick with Liv. Uh, my my boy, you know, I'll do this in front of everyone. My main dude is going to make a vigor check. Here we go. Needs a beat of four. Oh, handedly, handedly beats a four. Uh, Kanan, as you're fending off this researcher in front of you, you see this scrap of a droid on the on the ground and covered like the, the floor is now leaking with like this black ooze. You watch the black ooze start to bridge the gaps of where it was shot with the Gatling laser and start to harden and form like, you know, like uh, bracing and and even like you see like black wiring and joints being formed as this motherfucker stands the fuck back up. This is bullshit. <laughs> I accidentally ruined his initiative, but uh, I always click the wrong button. Uh, it's going to use two of its movements to stand back up. Uh, and it kind of cocks its head. Intruder detected. And uh, it's going to... Uh, it's got some shitty things. It's got some really shitty things. Uh so I really pissed it off and then left the room. <laughs> it still looks it doesn't look fully repaired. I'll just put that out there. Okay. It, by no stretch of the imagination mm-hmm. it looks fully repaired. Uh it, it was fucking decimated and it looks like it's barely barely <laughs> hanging on. Uh it's gonna roll this with a, a really shitty roll, but here we go. Let's see what happens. I don't think anything hit. No. It has like you watch wow. it's you watch this minigun form out of black ooze on its arm and it's like and it kind of takes a step and some of the, the bracing falters a little bit and it's like and it shoots up along this uh the ceiling and hitting like the glass uh the glass window on the far end of the cafeteria. Recalibrating. And uh it's gonna stay there though, but it's you know, it's it's back in the game, but it didn't do super well. That's all right. Uh, that was uh, uh, Kanan, last in the initiative. Your turn. Certainly last, and possibly <laughs> certainly <laughs> least. <laughs> um, am I able to both push and make an attack? Uh, yeah, the push is what's called a test, so it's like a, an opposed check. Um, that would be like a multi-action, which I don't think you take a penalty for anyway, right? No. All right, well... So one would be the push, uh, push, wow. One would be the push, the push. and the pish. I would <laughs> like to push him. <laughs> okay. Please, sir, uh, move out of my way. I'm going to push you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it would be a multi-action, basically. All right, I'm going to attempt to shove this one out of the way, and... I'm going to throw a thermal grenade over at the android. Damn. Uh, what's the blast radius on a thermal grenade? It's a small blast. So I'll probably throw it in the corner right behind him. Okay, I was like, yeah, if you throw it at him, yeah, if you throw it beyond him, you'll be just out of that blast radius. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, an opposed. Um, that's going to be an opposed athletics. Um, so you roll your athletics and... I'll roll the zombie boys. You should be afraid. He's got a D4 in athletics. <laughs> Here ah, we go. Well, we're evenly matched. <laughs> uh, Ha-ha. Gears, I for- Gears, I forgot to change the map. I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't think it was on you. Was it for your turn, Gears? Uh, it doesn't matter. I stayed in the same place anyway. I knew where yeah, it was. Yeah. Just yell at me, and I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the map. All good. Uh, what did it roll? It rolled a two. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I got a four. Yeah. You fucking, my wild you, die. You push him back. Uh, the way pushing works, you didn't get a raise, so he only goes back one square, but you push him over the table, basically. Uh, so he's kind of flat on his back on the cafeteria table. 
And do I just... We're like, just a bunch of bullies. Do I just click the grenade to It's all this heresy! It, or do I have to make a check to get it over there? Uh, yeah, make a shooting check to uh, successfully throw it. Okay. Oh, oh. buddy. Yes. Nice. Yes. Beautiful. Handedly. Water yes. perfectly. You perfectly lob it uh, 20 feet <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Oh, that's a. It. it, it oh, it, kind it of, rolled to it. did the roll to attack on it. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, oh, that I was it. that was garbage. <laughs> I think there's a damage. Do you want me to click it or do you want to click it? I think the damage thing is there. On uh, the, in the chat, there's like a damage. Uh, damage roll modifier. Is it? I'm gonna click it. Oh, we both clicked it. It yeah, went okay, out I'll twice. Take, I'll take it's, yours. It's, I'll take it's yours. cannon. It's Canon it's from Canon. Canon. Uh, was it 14? Yeah, it didn't show up in chat. What? Oh, it's 9. I'm so confused. It's 9. There it, showed up in the, there was a- it showed up in the thing for the, the thermal grenade that I rolled initially. Oh, I understand how technology works, everyone. Uh, 9. Beautiful. Yeah, 9. It kind of sucks from 3D10. <laughs> 9 just beats its toughness, which is great. Uh, this thermal grenade, grenade. Oh, you know what? That's going to affect the zombie too. The zombie gets blown into the fucking wall. This android gets blown this way. Uh, the zombie is super fucking dead. Uh, it got obliterated. Uh, oh no, it's shaken technically. I can't say it's dead. What am I doing? Rules. Wait, nine? No, it has toughness of five. One raise. It's dead. Uh, the android is also uh, shaken now. And prone in the corner. Oh. New system. I can't see him in the corner. So lots of rules. I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and assume that the uh, the heretics have met their deliverance. <laughs> yeah, from, <laughs> from your perspective, you lob this grenade in the cafeteria. And it's like <clears throat> tables and chairs go flying, and you just like <laughs> <laughs> everyone else here is like the. <clears throat> <laughs> Which is the second, I think, grenade to go off in that building. <laughs> yep. Uh, and with that, I'll uh, come back over here. And in uh, my turn. Welcome to the Dark Harvest. <laughs> New best friends. Uh, all right, we're up <laughs> to round two. The android rolled a joker. He shouldn't be there. Why hasn't he hidden? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's my turn again. No, no, it's his turn. Uh, God damn it. Go uh, he's going to, first of all, check to recover from being shaken. Here we go. Needs to beat a four. Seven. He does it. Or it does it. It's a, it's a robot. I shouldn't be calling it. He. Uh, he. Uh, damn it. I, don't, I instantly, <laughs> instantly after I said it, it is going to. <laughs> Uh, boop, boop, boop. Tracking targets. And it's gonna, once again, uh, you know, I'm gonna make another vigor check. This is gonna be an ooze check, you guys. Here we go. Ooze check. It fails. It's ooze check. Uh, it is gonna still have the modifier on its attack from last time. Here we go. Ooh, it got a raise, I think. Oh god! Oh god! Oh oh, Kanan! Fuck, Kanan, my Kanan, my boy! I'm so sorry. <laughs> one, just one of those. The black ooze starts uh, and peppers you as you're going for this other uh, this other zombie in the back uh, next to Perun. You are shaken with two wounds, my friend. Wait, wait, wait! That might not be true. What's your toughness? Nine. Oh, nine. No, nine. Oh, nine. Sorry. I thought you... I heard, hold on. Uh, I'm sorry. That's my bad. Nine. Okay, so that is... Nine is uh, 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 13 and then 17, right? Okay. Yeah, I was right. Shaken with two wounds. (laughs) I'm so sorry. (laughs) And your spacesuit is goddamn punctured. Great. Uh, Perun, you turn and watch, uh, watch this guy who, you know, for all you know, turned on the goddamn power. This is the only person you saw. 
and then all of a sudden just get riddled with bullets uh, uh, from down the hallway. Brutal. Brutal turn, you guys. Uh, is there so, there's no like reactions in this game, is there? Uh, it's like a melee. Uh, it's either you hold a hold an action, kind of like D and D, oh, okay. or uh, a melee. Uh, someone's leaving your melee range type situation. Okay. Uh, Wait, I don't know if those I, are. Can I spend a, a, a Benny to you for soak sure? Wound, can or do I do that on my turn? You for right now for sure can spend some Bennies and and do some. I'll spend two Bennies. Yeah, two Bennies for me. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Oh, Higdon, every time you guys spend a Benny, I get I get a Benny. That's how that works. So are you at five I will now? never use a Benny. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta. Listen, I roll like garbage, okay? All the time. <laughs> Give me a break. And you will stay there. You will stay at the bottom of that pit. So you, uh, okay, I'll leave this up to you, Kanan. Do you want to take your wounds or do you want to take off the shaken status and leave a wound? I'll leave, I'll leave one wound and take off shaken. Okay, cool. So you won't have to uh, lose your action or try to roll to get an action next turn, but you do have one wound. Uh, On Foundry, I think give yourself a wound. All of your stats now are minus one because you have one wound. Fuck. Yep, yep, that's how she goes. It's the way of the road, boys. It's the way of the road. Well, in that Um, case, I'll spend three bennies. <laughs> ah, bye bye, oh, Max. Oh, oh. <laughs> I told you you should have spent another one earlier. You're right, I should have. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, amazing. All right, you are. Uh, you've spent all of your bennies for this session. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bennyless. <laughs> um, that is its turn. Uh, it is your turn though, Kanan. So. Uh, well, in that case, I'm just gonna completely ignore the one I just walked up to and come back over here. I'm away over. I'm going to shoot him with my pistol. Sick. Yeah. Uh, are you doing a multi-attack? Uh, yeah. Pistol and sword. Okay. Awesome. Also, that other one would have got an attack on me because I just left his... Yes. You are right. No, that's fine. Perun will take care of it. That's a two. That's a big old two. Haha. All right. Plasma pistol. Ooh, rough. Fuck. Rough. You shoot and it it hits it, but it just doesn't have a. It just doesn't react at all. Well, I'll come run the chainsaw. Yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Gross. Brutal. You. You. You do. Uh, you just murder party it. You know, the ending of murder party, that's what you do. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody dies. Everybody dies. <laughs> that was, that was so insane. <laughs> uh, you, for those who somehow haven't watched the movie Murder Party, Kanan goes up with his chainsword and just cleaves through the skull of this android and like down through the body. Uh, s- screaming the whole time? No, probably not screaming the whole time. <laughs> Don't no, trust just a it. complete silence. Cut it many more times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll, uh, I'll just stand over it and say, uh, "You are forgiven." <laughs> <laughs> and turn, and then I'll turn back around. I love that tagline. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. All right, Kaden, was that it for you? Yeah. All right, Spent nine of all hearts. My is, <laughs> his gears. You're up. Okay. Wait, um, I'm gonna soak. The whole sorry, two bennies. <laughs> I'm soaking that. Fuck that noise, my big guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that case I wouldn't have left it. <laughs> sorry, Gears. I told you, cut him many more times. <laughs> Go ahead, Gears. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, so I heard. Uh, or Gears would have heard that that grenade go off, yeah. For sure, for sure. And would know where the entrance was to that. Uh, yeah, you watched, I think, Liv threw a grenade in their last session, so you would have saw Liv oh, go Oh, that was yeah. the one that the, <laughs> the oxygen exploded behind. I oh, wrote yes. that scene down very specifically because <laughs> Gears thought it was fucking sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like, Gears uh, will remember this. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it literally says... 
uh, best thing Gears has seen in ages. <laughs> um, so yeah, Gears is gonna head towards the sound of that grenade as far as as they can get. Uh, for sure, you can get. Uh, oh, oh, let me let me move the map. I'm gonna remember. So it's gonna be heading in the direction of one of those of zombies is over there. Oh, oh, there's a zombie in the middle. Yeah. All right, uh, it well, is one, two, three, four, five. You can make you can make it to get up close with that zombie if you wanted, or take your shots and then move. It's up to you. I'll just walk towards the door to enter where the grenade sound went off, and as I walk that way, I will. Okay, so if I shoot with my main hand and my off hand, the off hand has a minus two. Is that uh, right? Um, yeah, a multi-attack gives a flat minus two, and then your offhand is another minus two. So your main attack oh. will be minus two, and your offhand will be minus four. That's why oh, Josh. No, and, no, 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 no. That's why Josh no, and Kanan, no. or uh, Josh, <laughs> Kieran and Kanan, yeah. Kieran and Kanan no, both fine. took all this stuff to get around it. Uh, I'm just gonna do one shot then. Sick. As I walk by. Uh, yeah, also, roll like your sh- shooting and wild die. There's a completely separate edge for if you're using two guns. Yeah. It's so stupid. Oh, really? No, yeah, yeah it's, it's That's weird. Um, I got a five. Uh, yeah, you just need to beat a four. Uh, five will do it. Uh, roll your damage. That's eight. Eight. Thirteen damage. Oh, yeah, thirteen for sure. That's uh, one. Blasted him away. That's two, two raises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. Exactly two raises. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you fucking ice the one over Liv's shoulder with just a, you just brain it, and then you walk as you're like walking over to the next one. You just completely through the skull, take out the second one, no problem. Sick. Gears, Gears is a killing machine, evidently. <laughs> The party is death, and you've brought the party. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes rich kids get in some trouble, and you got to protect them. (laughs) How many rich white boys has Gears killed, I wonder? (laughs) (laughs) No, unfortunately, he was employed protecting them. Oh, right, right. (laughs) A lot of Um, mall cops. (laughs) (laughs) Two, three. uh, So that was six movement. If you want to run, you can roll your running dice, which is a D6, and try to move some more. Sure, yeah. I got a four. Four, sick. You, uh, uh, there's some crates in your way. I'm going to say one, two, three, four. We'll get you around two, three, four. You're right at the door, basically. You're five, sick. uh, or two meters away from the door. Sick. Um, amazing. Uh, it is Liv's turn. Liv, like, is, you know, a little rattled that it almost got attacked, and it's going to run. Uh, uh, they're going to run one, two, um uh, next to Isaac, they can actually see some stuff through this door, so they're gonna move up one and they're gonna make their goddamn SMG shot. This is gonna be goddamn ridiculous, I'm sure. Here we go. Oh, only one hit. That's uh, a little dice though. Uh yeah, it, it it's got a rate of fire of four. Uh Jesus. Oh, Oh, he, his clip is empty. I'll fix that. Uh, I was like, what's this? Cool. Uh, that zombie is shaken in the doorway, so that's good. Uh, but it doesn't take a wound, sadly. Uh, Kieran, you are up. Uh, yeah. So being the uh, brainiac that he is, he's going to attempt to stab his laser sword through this glass. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's... Oh, you got armor piercing. Damn. Okay. I'm going to say it's going to be a minus four to whatever you roll because it's it's made to not shut. You know what I mean? It's made uh-huh. yep. for harsh environments. Yeah. No, so I roll, believe it. Ro- roll your fighting and whatever you roll minus four. <laughs> I rolled two twos. Oh, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> You, like, almost hit yourself in the face as it reflects off of this glass. (laughs) Son of a bitch. (laughs) Um, 
so with that attempt out of the way, uh, <laughs> Kieran would then uh, run back towards the stairs. Uh, he's sick. Yeah, go for it. So one, two, three, four. Oh, that's lovely. And since he's probably running at full speed, it would be five and six and hit this wall. Like, shoulder <laughs> into the wall, trying to bounce off. <laughs> uh, to do the same, if you want to run, you can roll your running die and uh, uh, d6 and uh, try to move some more. Sure. <laughs> that's a one. So he would... Okay, uh, you can reflect off of that wall if you wish. Yeah, that's literally where he'd end up. <laughs> Kieran, you run out into this hallway, which you came through before, and there were some dead bodies, and now one is fully standing and one is kind of, like, lumbering up. Uh, there's a desk behind you, and it's got, like, a bunch of, like, um, you know, researcher tools, and uh, uh, there's some, like, random scalpels and shit like that. Uh, was that it for Kieran? Uh, yes, unless... Uh, no, yeah, that's it. Okay, sick. Uh, next up is the zombies. Ooh. Hey, hey. Um, yeah, that one, these two for sure. At Kieran. Uh, this one is going to try to recover from being shaken. That's a vigor check. Here we go. Uh, fuck no. It's still shaken. It, it can move, but it loses its action. Uh, the one behind it is going to go for live. Uh, those two are dead. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, five. That one towards gears. Uh, Android. Oh, it's not Android's turn. Uh, and three around Prune. Brutal, guys. Okay, first up, here we go. Two attacks at our boy, Kieran. Uh, what is your uh, toughness? Or your parry. Sorry, your yeah. parry. I'm an idiot. What's your uh, parry? Uh, my parry is seven. Fuck, I did that wrong all, all game long so far. <laughs> Uh, one just hits Damn it. Uh, the one right ahead of you. Uh, what is that damage? Uh, let me check. Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, brutal. Okay, it's a D8 and a D6 is its damage die. Here we go. Oh, that explodes. That explodes. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, 15 against your toughness. Uh, my toughness is six. Brutal. So that's 10, 14, right? Yeah. You are shaken and you suffer one wound as it rips through your spacesuit and bites into your shoulder. Uh, your spacesuit is punctured, which is super not great. Um, and yeah, you, you are shaken with one wound, uh, my friend. Uh, I'm going to spend two bennies to uh, knock those off. <laughs> All right. Two more bennies for me. I love it. Uh, you're not shaken and you don't have a wound, but I get the bennies. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, gears, one is going to go for you. Oh, that explodes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay, what, you are. What's your, par- <laughs> what's your parry score? Four. Four. It rolled 12. So that's... How many raises above your... Uh, 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 that's... Yeah, two. So that's... Not going to be great. That's an extra D... 2D6. No, a D6. Here we go. Okay, okay. Not super high. What's your toughness? My toughness is 11. It just does 11. You are shaken. Okay, wait. Uh, I have some things that I had some questions about and they weren't relevant until now. Yep, yep. So artificial beings, because I'm a construct, uh, add plus two to recover from being shaken. That seems pretty self-explanatory. It yep. says ignore one level of wound modifiers. What does that mean? Oh. Uh, interesting. Uh, you know, let me take a look. I think it's here. What What was that feat again? Or what was the thing? Uh, it's just because I'm a construct. Okay. Uh, I'm just reading it here. It's like my race, I guess. Uh, let me see. Ignore one level of wound modifiers. So does that mean like uh, I'm gonna the shit it does to my rolls? I'm gonna interpret that as if I raised on wounds. So if I dealt more than one wound, let's say, um, you know what? Let's say that subtracts one. So I guess at minimum they'd have to deal two wounds to even deal a wound to you. How does that 
sound. That, that makes sense. Yeah, that yeah, makes that sense. That sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do that? <laughs> well, I'll read the rules later. I, I, I truly can't be bothered to uh, to do some heavy research right now. Uh, yeah. I, okay. I, I read so many articles for, uh, luckily for a question that Patrick asked me earlier today. And I was like, hey, I read a lot and researched a bunch for this exact question. So uh, <laughs> it's Savage Worlds is a difficult game to get the rules completely straight. <laughs> okay. But I'm only shaken this time anyway, right? Uh, you were only... Um, or do I get a wound? No, you were only shaken, yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Right, it's not your turn. It's still my turn. Uh, Haroon... Wait, I did prune. Right? No. No. Prune only did, went once. You did Kieran. I didn't attack prune, sorry. That's what I mean. Oh, you didn't uh, attack yeah, prune, no. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't add each individual zombie to the initiative tracker. I just added one zombie because it uh, felt, like, okay. felt like a lot. Uh, three biting attacks against prune. What's your parry score, prune? Okay, so my toughness is actually 11, not 8, according to the sheet you sent me, because my energy knuckles are going. Cool, yes. And my parry is 6. Parry is 6. Okay, only one of those makes it through, and that was a, um, uh, 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 oh my god, 13. So that's one, two raises. Uh, so that's some, some additional damage there. Same amount for that hit gears earlier. What's your... You said 11 was your toughness? 11, yeah. Uh, that is exactly 12 over. I mean, I had 12 uh, altogether. I rolled three fours. Look at that. Uh, so you suffer. Yeah, you are shaken. Uh, what being shaken means? Uh, let me update your status here. Oh, I'll update gears as well. Uh, shaken means you can still move, but you can't take an action until you make a vigor check to recover from being shaken. Uh, you don't lose and your does turn. the vigor check. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, does the vigor check remove, like, take my turn? No, no. Uh, but if you don't succeed, it does, basically. Okay. Uh, sweet. Uh, that is all of them, I think. Uh, I'm sure no one will correct me if I'm wrong. Up next is. Oh, I spent the Benny somehow. I spent no, I was just getting rid of mine. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what am I pressing? <laughs> <laughs> the microchip. Uh, Isaac Winters. Uh, <laughs> Isaac is like, uh, uh, hello, this is Isaac Winters coming in again over comms. Uh, oh, I heard an explosion. That sounded pretty serious. Uh, two more look like they're attacking Liv here. That looks pretty dire. Um, Gears just fucking took out two, you guys. It was nuts. So you should have, you should have saw it. Uh, almost as good as my shot earlier. Almost. Not quite though. Um, right. I'm going to, uh, I'll keep you all informed. I hope everyone's doing well out there. I hope we're all go team, right? Uh, I'm, I'm going to run a little bit. I need to get some research information. Uh, I might see you out there. Good job, everyone. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he's going to make a uh, roll to, oh, he got a fucking six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Gears. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac Winters blows past you <laughs> as he <laughs> runs, starts running into the research facility away from the two uh, zombies that are attacking Liv. Uh, Wait, does the running <laughs> dice uh, explode? Oh, fuck. One more. Look at that. Good call. <laughs> Out of your sight, almost already gears. Uh, <laughs> can you tell I love playing Isaac? Uh, Perun, <laughs> it is your turn, my friend. Uh, so first up, okay, you just need, I gotta you do need, my vigor check. Yeah, you just need to beat a four on vigor. Uh, how do I do that? Do I just click on my vigor? Sorry, dice? Uh, you just click yep. on if you if you just click vigor, I think it should do it. Oh no! You can spend a Benny to re-roll. All right, let's do that. 
Yeah, bennies. <laughs> I'm at max. I'll never spend my bennies. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One turn later. <laughs> One turn later. He was at, he's at max though now, is he not? Uh, max what, sorry? You really have five, can't you? Yeah, I am at max. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you were maxed out. And that's a home rule. Let me remind you. Everyone. Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought it would be unfair. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, and it's like a side rule in Savage Worlds. It's like, you could do this. And I'm like, fuck, that sounds super fun. Um, amazing. Prune, you are no, you, you, one of them does bite you, uh, but it doesn't actually manage to pierce your suit and you're kind of thrown off for a second. You've, you've had a couple of days to yourself, so you're trying to clear your head, but you, uh, you come around, so. What do you want to do? Uh, Peru wants to punch one in the face with his stun knuckles. Sick. Um, so you can do a multi-attack because you do have a feat for two punches. Um, yes, he will punch one with stun and then punch one with the energy knuckle. Amazing. So uh, on your trait roll modifiers, just uh, double click minus two uh, because it's a multi-attack. So that's going to be a minus two for each hit. But then go go wild. Make your make your attacks. Uh, one per. You're just doing one punch to two different things, right? So I'm doing minus two to both. Yeah, because it's a multi attack. It applies a minus two bonus unless you have a feat that takes that away. Okay. Okay. So the stun knuckles up first. Uh. Ooh. So four. Uh, minus two doesn't do it. And your oh, energy... Oh, minus two, right. Yeah. Energy knuckles? Energy knuckles! Oh, Three. Minus two doesn't do it. Okay. Like, woo, woo. Two strike... Uh, two, two strikes against these these uh, uh, black ooze zombies. And, like, one of them, you, you actually make a connection, and it feels like you're punching a fucking mountain. Like, a, a completely rigid steel... Uh, uh, Steel Mountain, sure, why not? I think that's a Mr. Robot reference, but I'm, I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, yeah, that was your action. You still have movement. You're going to take some opportunities if you try to get away, but it's up to you. No, 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 I'll stay there. All right. Prune is in a, in a rough area. Um, Fuck shit. Round three, you guys. Oh, Prune. You get to go again, my friend. You're up first. <laughs> All right. Fuck this. And I'll <laughs> swing the gun around. Um, I think... And I'll just okay. do a... I'll do a quick... <laughs> I think... Hold on. Give me one second. Yeah. Uh, of course. I think that, that, that will be at minus two as well. Yeah. I think using a, a two-handed ranged weapon has a penalty uh oh my god the alphabet is a hard thing to organize in uh, order um because i'm an idiot uh here we go ranged weapons in melee the attacker may use a one-handed or ranged weapon or a power when in melee uh you may not fire rifles or other long arms uh in melee so, Perun, you'll have to, if you want to use your minigun, uh, your, sorry, your Gatling laser, you need to get yourself out of, uh, out of immediate melee range with whoever you're trying to go for. All right, I'm just going to look over my shoulder and see if uh, Kanan is looking down this way. Is he looking towards me? I don't know. Kanan, no. what do you... No. <laughs> no. No? All right. Uh, I'm going to just put my hand out and uh, my tattoos are going to glow a little bit and uh, some electricity is going to shoot out of my fingers. I'm going to try and blast one of them in the face. Oh, sick. Using uh, Bolt. Bolt. Uh, which I think is a, a weird science role, I believe, for you. I believe that's what you took. If they're in cover or anything like that, I have to do a roll or something. Uh, they're not in cover. They're all sh very much in front of you. I am going to power it up, though. Ooh. I love it. I love it. Do it. So, how do I do that? Do I just... Uh, 
what are what what power up are you you going with? Uh, I can only the, with the bolt. I can only power it up one uh, with one thing, which was just increase the damage. I couldn't do at least based on this thing you sent me. Right, right. Um, there were there were other options there, but nothing that was attached to bolt. Uh, interesting. Like um, I would absolutely love to put like you know some fatigue or you know. Um, Okay, I understand. These guys don't have a whole uh, lot of armor, so... Right? Yeah. So. Well, mm, fire, acid, insects, or other... Can use the damage. Well, so yeah, I'm just going to blast them in the face with lightning. You could do lingering damage, I guess. Hey, maybe? Because it says, or some other trapping, which to me sounds like electricity. Uh, yes. Let's do that. Cool. I so that'll be a... Insects makes no sense. <laughs> so that's a plus... That's two more power points for lingering damage, and you're uh, you're bumping it anyway, right? Is that correct? So four total. Yeah, so four power points total. So roll weird science and pray to the god, to the thunder god, that you don't crit fail. Where's my weird science? It's not letting me hit a button. Uh, under traits. Uh, oh yeah, uh, traits. No, I'm not under traits. You. Under Jesus. yeah, under traits, under skills, and it should be down there. You just click on the word. Yeah. Weird science. Oh, you almost crit failed. <laughs> uh, wow, well, we were. How uh, how is that Perun is uh, is using this ability? What are like what what's the method of delivery that you're doing? Uh, oh, still a punch. I'm just kind of like charging my punch. Okay, cool. So the electricity actually crackles down from your shoulder as you make this swing, and it dissipate it's the one that you hit that felt like a mountain and it dissipates over it and the thing just like its neck cracks and looks up at you and you know, right. give me a give me a notice check actually um if you want i have that all right oh you exploded damn that's a raise sweet so Boing. oh i should have explained a raise is when you get four above the target number so the target is usually oh, okay. four four so you got nine which is one above uh, I mean you know one bank of four above um, as this thing cocks its head and you're kind of like up close and personal just after like uh, colliding uh, with that strike and not really doing much uh, its eyes almost look like um, they're, they don't look like eyes anymore they look like they have some kind of film occurring like the black ooze has kind of gone into their eyes but now you see it like it's it's like a uh, transmitting data you know it's like you see words and symbols and uh, numbers constantly processing through its eyes gross <laughs> gross <laughs> i love it are you are you, I hate uh, math. are you at are you at uh no yeah no okay no that's fine i'm good uh, no movement, no nothing else. No, no, no. Movement means pain. <laughs> yeah, movement does mean pain. Well, you, okay. Well, let me put, pain. Let me let me put this to out. To suffer here. is to pray. I, I'm going to be a kind and gentle space DM. Next <laughs> turn, you for sure are going to take three attacks, right? Yeah, guaranteed. You could potentially take those three attacks with your movement to get out, and then get yourself in a hallway where only one can reach you, right? Yeah, that that makes sense. <laughs> but Maroon has this thing called arrogance. <laughs> There's no retreat. I just felt I bad. Was considering spending, I was considering spending more bennies to reroll my fucking. Yeah, you can do it, man. My, my I'm at max. Listen, I'm I'm at max bennies. I can't gain any more bennies right now. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's what we Oh, need. not enough PP. Uh, and roll one more uh, D6 because you bumped the damage. I did bump the damage. How can I roll another D6? Uh, slash roll oh. 1D6. Yeah, slash roll 1D6. Sorry. It's very I, intuitive. I only added you recently. I didn't give you the little toolbar with all the rolls. Sorry. 
One. I have no beautiful. Tool bar. <laughs> That's a seven. Uh, don't you? Tool I thought I. Here, see. No, sorry. Oh, the tool no, bars my are tool hidden. Bar is empty. By the way, guys, yeah, you have to hover over the tool bars. My tool bar is uh, empty. Yeah, mine's empty as well. Uh, fuck, I'm the worst. I'll I'll do that later. Uh, <laughs> all right, that was seven total. Um, yep. It for sure stuns any. Uh, which which one are you looking to stun? That tough guy that I've been looking in the eyes of and punching like one of those weird fucking. The brick shit house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, he you bit fucking... me, and then I tried to attack him, and he didn't do anything, and it, it upset me. And then I missed him twice. Like <laughs> we have a connection now. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you don't remember the, um, the scientists, the researchers, the last time the outbreak happened. You don't remember any of these like weird ooze turning into steel type thing occurring uh this is this is new this is a new thing um but you do collide uh that one is shaken it cannot get an opportunity attack so now is the time um yeah i am just gonna back up right here and kind of go back to back with kane and nice proper action movie style guys it's an action movie it's happening in real time here we go two this is the start of the expendables i just exploded on both of those attacks <laughs> against me yeah uh one is a nine to beat your parry and one is a 10 to beat your parry so, so yes both of them okay just making sure uh yep Neither of those is a raise, though, so that's good news. Uh, here we go. They might not beat your toughness. Nope. One is only a three, but one is a ten to beat your toughness. My toughness is eleven. Oh fuck! Fuck you guys and your goddamn toughness. This is tough, <laughs> tough guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, not tough guy. All right. <laughs> you you take these fucking hits like a goddamn champ, and back to back, you and Kanan, the 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 beefiest action movie stars in in the, in the party, uh, in this hallway, fighting off black ooze zombies and androids and all kinds of shit. Uh, next up is all of their turns. Oh, that one is stunned. This one's going to move Great. in front of you. Yes. This one's going to move there. Nice. Uh, one is in front of Gears. One is already there. Two are in front of Kieran. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start from the top and work my way down. Kieran. Wait. Two, sorry. How did they get? It's the zombies again? They rolled a high. This is a new round. They rolled a high um, initiative. But I got shaken by a zombie and didn't get a chance to get out of it. Yep. Before they came around again? Yep, because we re-roll initiative every round, remember? Right. Yep. Fuck. Yep. God damn it. Yep, it sucks. That's that's why <laughs> That's why Perun went both last and then first. <laughs> I was confused then as well, but it didn't directly yeah. involve me, so <laughs> that was a that was a ten minute Perun turn, but it was actually yeah. ten minutes of two Perun yeah. turns. <laughs> two Perun turns. <laughs> two Perun. Uh, oh, one explodes. Come Kieran, on. I'm so sorry. That's a 11, and uh, the other one misses. Uh, yeah, versus miss, your yeah. parry. Yeah, that'll hit. All right. Uh, what's your parry? Is that a raise? Nine. Above? No, it's just it's a nine. Okay. Sick. Standard damage. Here we go. Five against your toughness. No. Ooh. Six is mine. Shit, yeah. It oh, fucking... Shit. You actually, like, uh, <laughs> after you slam into the wall and straighten yourself... <laughs> They rush you and you like kind of knock it away with your uh, your laser sword. <laughs> I'll add an effect there in post production. It'd be great. <laughs> the old uh, Star Wars, everybody makes the sound for themselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course you got to you got to make this one sound. Yeah. All right, Prune, one against you. Here we go. Nope. I uh, got to make sure that's not a crit fail. It crit fails. Uh, it goes to they bite you and and you with a crit fail, you fucking shove it on its ass five feet away. You just, like, fucking bounce that stupid motherfucker. Um, bounce that bitty. Gears, one is gonna go for you. Two. Nope. Two doesn't do it. Sick. Liv. Uh, oh, fuck. Liv is pretty weak. I think a seven might do it. Um, 
I don't know, Liv isn't weak, what I'm talking about, but it's Miss Perry is shit, sadly. Seven does it. Here we go, Liv. Oh, ten. I think ten oh. is bad. Ten is only shaken. Okay, Liv is shaken, everyone. Liv is shaken. <laughs> I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> it's literally just me and Kane in as far as yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, Liv is grubby, Higdon, just so you know. Uh, I'm sure you figured that out. I did not. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Liv is grubby's character. Uh, grubby can't be. Oh, okay. Grubby's probably working. Uh, or listening? No, he's not listening. Uh, Kanan, you are up. All right, I'm going to try something that seemed to almost work before. Uh, I'm going to shove him, and I'm going to throw a um, thermal grenade over in the other corner. Ooh, okay. So uh, opposed athletics. I'll roll it. Oh, fuck. He doesn't have athletics. Haha. -ha. D4 minus two. Fuck yeah. That's a one. You rolled a four, I think. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> he gets, uh, it gets shoved five, uh, or two meters, two meters back and make your shooting roll for your thermal grenade. Oh, yes. Oh, it exploded. Nice. Grenades usually do. <laughs> You know what? Oh, right. that was a juicy, oh, fuck. juicy That's roll. a good one. 19. I wish I had to throw it in the other corner juicy. so I could get Isaac, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave my boy load. Leave we my precious not. boy load. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, again, the third fucking <clears throat> goes off in this poor cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> the walls are now buckled outwards in this whole fucking research center. Um, the... The table is fucking absolutely decimated. The the little food area, chicken bones are flying. Uh, space chicken bones are flying everywhere. Um, Look at all them chickens. <laughs> Look at all them chickens. <laughs> Look at all them chickens. Uh, yeah, you fucking absolutely decimate that that goddamn android. I, you know, what? I'm gonna say there's nothing left. Just nothing left. Listen. Very first round, I dealt 60 damage to it, and it still kicked ass for three Ridiculous. rounds. Ridiculous. Yeah. It's got a feat. It's about That's time why. the fucker went down. It's got a homebrew feat, guys. I can't stay away from homebrew. Can't. I can't do it. It uh, just tastes so good. Yeah, it does. It does. I'm drinking <laughs> that homebrew right now. I'm drinking some Bannerman brew just down just down in Bannerman Park. Um, Kanan, that was your action. Yep. And you I don't moving. think I can do anything else. You have movement. I'll stay where I am for now. Okay. You're still back to back holding the fort. Uh, it yeah, is I'll stand back turn. to back and face Perun. We'll draw ourselves <laughs> and shoot each other. Peruna. Uh, You're going to want to shut that bathroom door. <laughs> get to these shits I, <laughs> I deleted I deleted the door guys I'm so sorry uh, <laughs> it blew off <laughs> I did uh, the first thing I did in this fucking game was delete that door uh, Liv is going to make a vigor check to try to not be shaken Ooh. oh Ooh. beautiful beautiful vigor check Liv Unshaken. is not shaken Unstirred. and Liv will now unload with his laser SMG. <laughs> I love the staggered Jesus. rolling. It's so fucking good. <laughs> so many. What the fuck? Liv, Liv is just like with a laser SMG like tss, 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 into this hallway. It completely eviscerates uh, two of the space zombies in there. Um, why haven't I been calling them space zombies this whole time? Um, beautiful. What were you calling them before? Zombooses? No, that was you guys. I don't know what the fuck I called them. Liv is going <laughs> to run two, three, four, five, six. Liv is going to run in. Zombies. Okay. Kieran, you see Liv run around the... No, you don't. Uh, I didn't give you guys enough vision. You might have seen live <laughs> in the adjacent Don't hallway tell me my business or the uh the far away hallway opposite hallway there we go english why isn't anybody else talking to me 
Guys, the comms work. Just because I can also hear on these comms doesn't mean you shouldn't talk. You know, there's low atmosphere. So even if you try to talk, it's going to be really quiet anyway. Did anyone ever take science class in space school? Just me. All right. <laughs> Everyone jump over to the new group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, I'll I'll stay off the comms, I guess, but I'm I'm gonna I still need to get at some computers and uh, you know it's the whole point we came here. You go, I thought we were a team, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isaac runs in in front of you, Kanan, and he's like, "Oh, right, Goldilocks. I was just looking for someone. Hey, I found you. I'm I'm very happy to see anybody. Really, Jesus, this room is in rough shape. Christ." Almighty, I heard about him. I read about Christ in a book once. Mental, mental story. Must have scared children. Uh, oh, that looks Cease like a room speak back... speak of heresy. <laughs> All right, no one wants to listen to me today, I guess. I need to get in that room over there, though, if we want to get paid. Go ahead. <laughs> that's all he That's all he does. No, that was all of his movement. That was it. Uh, Gears. <laughs> Are you sure he can run? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to shuffle past you guys gears you uh you you're shaken so you need to make a vigor roll to be un- okay shaken. but i get you get a bonus yes plus two yeah okay and i roll my wild die too yep yep okay six amazing sorry i was taking a drink yes six is a success you are no longer shaken you do not have any penalties uh perfect Amazing. Uh, but there um, is a uh, a zombie directly uh, next to you. Well, god damn it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so range is my but pistols aren't range, right? Pistols are for shooting someone in the face. Uh, actually, the rules are you can yes. use a melee pistol. You can use a pistol in you melee. You can use a pistol. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just not melee a, not a pistol. You throw your bullets. I'm shoot him with a pistol. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Let's do it. Make it the Whip third it. in a row that you just fucking eviscerate. I hope so, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a three. Ah, uh, no, three. Yeah. Uh, you actually go to shoot, and it just like grabs your wrist and like moves it as the the gun goes off. All right. Well. I'm gonna try and get into that building anyway and risk a, an attack. Sure, it's gonna roll five against your parry. Which is four, oh. but wait, can I? Oh, why is my phone locked? Um, it's four, but I am a robot. <laughs> oh no, you can soak a wound. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you okay. haven't actually been hit yet. Um, eight versus your toughness. Oh, my toughness is 11. Ooh. Uh, while it does... Thanks, robot mods. <laughs> while it does hit you, it doesn't actually uh, manage to deal some any significant damage. Uh, you feel like your, your already tattered robes that you wear <laughs> are more tattered. <laughs> um, so you're going to move your full movement? It's kind of silly to be um, wearing clothes in space anyway. Before you move, um, and I'll mm-hmm. honestly, this window right here is probably open from all of the fucking explosions that have happened. You know, I'm going to do a luck check slash roll 1d20. I'm going to say on a 5 or more, the window is fucking destroyed from all the explosions. The window is now a door. 12, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, that window is fully open in front of you. So if you wanted to like... Okay, yeah. Okay. I'll move right in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will get you right up next to Isaac. Yeah. All windows (laughs) are doors. If you wanted to roll your running dice, you could maybe maybe get through everyone but can you... i sorry can you just scroll the map yes up sorry sorry again <laughs> yep uh you are right there. okay yeah can i see this is what you can was see was it right was it did kanan's suit get damaged kanan's sa- uh, yes. spacesuit is damaged yes how bad and kieran's yours is... kanan's is pretty bad Kieran's is not so bad, but Kanan, yeah, for sure is, is not great. Was my getting out of Shaken my action? No, but your shooting of the pistol was your action. Oh, right. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. 
No, right, but your action was your action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I don't know. So nitpicky about these rules. A lot of... <laughs> um, I yeah, think you make it up. Canaan is actually a free action. <laughs> Unless you're a heretic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gears, if you wanted to roll, if you wanted to try to run past a little bit, you could probably roll a running dice. Um, the, sure. hall, the hallway is pretty clogged. Um, I'll let you know depending on what you what you roll. <laughs> Just like the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one, so nope. Yeah, a one won't. You do make it. it to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you humans are disgusting. <laughs> My thank olfactory you, sensors are not working. Thank God. I was going to say, yeah, thank God you didn't get the smell receptors installed. <laughs> Gears, that is... You're going to need some new factory sensors soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Amazing, amazing. Uh, that was the end of Gears and the round, and uh, it is now our boy Liv's turn. Uh, Liv is like, hey, yeah, that sounds great to me, guys. <laughs> I can't wait for Grubby to see this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Liv is going to make, uh, he's going to uh, roll the run. I'll look up the rules later. Uh, seven, he's going to jump on top of this dead body. Uh, Gears, you're up. Okay. Uh I'll move can the, I get to Kanan and try and repair the spacesuit? Yeah, you can use three movement to go into the bathroom next to Kanan. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, oh God, Foundry, cooperate. So you're going to make a, I guess, yeah, a repairs. Repair check? What's in your inventory? I'm just curious. Do you happen to have an adhesive uh, patch? Oh God, my inventory. <laughs> I'm gonna in, in say that no. bathroom. Okay. In that bathroom, there's so. lots of that like that sticky strapping that like holds mach- things to like cardboard and like. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, <laughs> you, you could take a lot of that off. <laughs> yeah, gears. Roll a roll your repair check, and you'll use the uh, weird sticky strapping. <laughs> okay. No. It's just used toilet paper, Ooh. isn't it? I got uh, <laughs> five. Yeah, you just need a four. Uh, five is a success. Uh, so I'll say with a, with one success, you were you get uh, Kanan up to a part where he's not leaking his his oxygen. Uh, cool. Not a lot. You're still leaking a little bit. You're kind of on par with Kieran, I would say. Um, it's not an immediate threat, but if it, if you just kind of leave it, it's, it, it will be super not great. Um, but yeah, that's a success. You've used half of your movement gears. Um, anything else? Um, I think gears will just stand like very upright in the center of the bathroom (laughs) and be like, what are we doing? Um, well, thank you gears. I believe we're killing things you only got repaired because that was a sick grenade toss thank you (laughs) you should have seen the other guy (laughs) you should have seen the other grenade Uh, (laughs) uh, I have one left speaking of Kanan it is your turn yo can I throw a grenade past Perun uh I'm going to say it's probably gonna a, not a good idea to try, but it's going to be a minus two. It, it'll be a minus two on the throw. Yeah. Nah, fuck that. Y- you can I'll move uh, past Perun. You guys are pretty big, but you can do like, oh, the fuck. Part. There's another Perun one. There. Would allow, Perun <laughs> would allow you to tell. <laughs> <laughs> what a discovery I've made. <laughs> oh fuck! There's another one. <laughs> I feel like as he tried to like push up past me, I'd let him know that they're they're hiding around the corners. <laughs> as you're saying that, like, you're like, oh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to willingly push him into the the fray. Uh, uh, so I'd go up with like the chainsaw to attack the the one that I could see at first, and then just see the other one at the corner of my eye and just fucking slam it into his head and uh, there we go and I'll shoot the other one 
Because I can. Uh, sick. Yeah. Go make your make your attacks. Chain sword. Four. And damage. Uh, chain sword doesn't make it with a four. You needed God a. Damn it. You need a six. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You I'll use, use one Benny. of your bennies. I'll yeah, use one of yours. Oh, you're you're out of bennies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, in that case, uh, I'll try and shoot the same one. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, critical oh, no. failure! Great. <laughs> your gun is jammed, my my dude. Your gun is jammed. So sorry. You're gonna need a, an action to to attempt a repair check on that gun. Um, any more movement, Kanan? <laughs> um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to move over here and risk the attack. Okay. Uh, here it goes. Uh, six versus your parry. Uh, my parry is... Versus your Rick parry. Six. It is six, so that is a success... Eight versus your toughness. Haha. Nine. Was not nice. Again, the ooze is now kind of dripping down your spacesuit. It kind of goes at you and the, the steel of its fist kind of melts away in an odd occurrence. I feel like it melts as it touches my suit. Uh it was going to strike you and it just it didn't keep the the solidity is that a word of uh, of its attack I guess of its structure uh, if that's your movement are you moving any more or are you staying there uh, you're kind of up you're kind of in another hallway now if that makes sense you're in like a bank of um, networking like a network rack okay is do they go right up to the ceiling or, or can you go over them they're like nine feet sure. yeah they're very okay tall. so just like no hop and escape over yeah I'll, I'll stay where I am okay I was wondering if I changed the vision but I did so you yeah yeah basically if you guys can't see over something that means it's it's taller than your taller than six feet probably right uh you're saying they're amazing uh Perun it is your turn right now <laughs> that was the close one friend you almost got your face beaten your Perun <laughs> will not take this one <laughs> and uh, I will pull the uh, I'll pull Gertie around and just fucking unleash it. Uh, six. Is eight. it possible? Because there's four different rolls whenever I roll for this, right? Like it rolls four times to hit. It doesn't. Yes. It? Yeah. So is is there a chance that if I shoot in that straight line, I could take out both of them if like the first one dies? Yeah, you know what we'll do? We'll say the first two of the four, because it lays it out in a line on the on the screen. So the first two of right. that four, we'll say, is against the first one. Uh, okay. And if that one dies, there won't be a negative on the next two that we see, if, if that makes sense, right? All right, yeah, no, that makes sense. So I won't roll with negatives, but we'll just subtract it. Exactly, yeah. We'll do it manually if we yeah, need to. Okay. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do we'll it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, numbers. Oh, those are some juicy rolls. Uh, my friend, you're goddamn, goddamn right. The first one absolutely eviscerates. Explosion. Yeah, it, it completely eviscerates the first one. You don't take any. Uh, the second one is shaken also, and that one is also goddamn dead now. Uh, with that monster of a Gatling laser roll that you just made. 35 damage everyone um unreal unreal seven wounds <laughs> seven wounds yeah. yeah 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 that's a that's a guesstimate you know um because it the you know toughness parries blah 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 stuff stuff can i said yeah. what i said <laughs> I'm, letting you, I'm just letting you guys know all right um, any less than seven um <laughs> heresy uh, <laughs> Perun uh, steps out with the, the, the gun and just kind of like lets it drop down and it kind of like turns uh, in his, this, even if this is the guy that like fucking bit his face off earlier like he has 
you know, new, new instilled confidence. And he just kind of like comes around, kind of looks at him. He's like, <laughs> all right, friend, it's me and you. <laughs> and, you know, the, the, the gloves kind of like crackle a little bit. And then, it's, all right. I like to think your your Gatling laser two is doing that like thing where it's like doo, 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 like it's still slow. It's like red hot from yeah, the, the laser. Absolutely, part. absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, totally like searing the side of my leg. <laughs> uh, second least, but not second last, is our boy Isaac Winters, and he's like, right, you're all doing pretty well. Uh, um, I need to get in that room, so I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just gonna do. Oh, that looks really cool. I'm gonna do something really cool too. You got me inspired. And uh, Isaac's going to run. Who the fuck is this dead man? He's going <laughs> to jump past Perun and make like in midair oh, no. pistol shots. <laughs> Gets oh, the uh, the last remaining. Uh, I uh, want Perun to have a quick knee jerk reaction of somebody jumping past him and grab his ankle and drag him to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what's going to happen. Isaac, Isaac Winters is going to make an agility check. I'll do it on. Uh, yeah. I'll do it on Foundry. Uh, uh, um, I want Perun to make a smarts check because that's like a, a reaction, you know, a mental reaction. Okay, uh, I have battlefields. I have battle smarts. I have notice smarts. What, what am I looking for? Oh, just general smarts. Survival Sorry. smarts. Uh, your attributes. Smarts is Sorry. like in like okay. an intelligence check. Oh, two. You, you almost crit failed. Isaac Winters runs one two. And dives past you. Uh, I'm gonna make his sh uh, actual pistol attack. I had a minus two because, you know, he's jumping and firing. Here we go. No, he misses. <laughs> <laughs> he runs and jumps. He's like, ah! and like shoots all around the fucking space zombie who's gonna make a uh, fucking attack against him. It exploded. <laughs> 13. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> 13. 13. Uh, uh, oh, that was a raise. Sorry. So that was, uh, yeah, that was one raise. One raise. Yeah, I'm right. Uh, 11 is one. Isaac's shaking. Isaac is laying on the floor after he jumps and this thing claws at him. And like he's splashed with ooze in his in his space suit, and he's just kind of like laying on the floor, like. <laughs> uh, uh, it is now that lonesome zombie's turn. Uh, Isaac is shaken. Let me update him. Here we go, Peru. And this one is for you. Oh, that explodes. That explodes. That explodes. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that's 24 that's 30 versus your parry score I mean that fucking hits yeah what is your, <laughs> what is your parry Prune what's your parry six six, six. What? that's like so, a good parry too <laughs> that's so Five many times. that's so many raises uh, and what's your toughness 11 Not great, not great. That was what I was holding out for, your 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 shitty rolls to kick in. 14. 14. That okay. was... What do I got here? That was 1d8. So what happens if you raise on the parry? Uh, if I raise on my attack, I'm adding more damage. Okay. Yeah. More damage dice. Sorry. Uh, that was 4d6 and 1d8. So that could have been real real bad <laughs> uh, 14 you're shaking though Karun um, you need to roll a vigor check yep. to recover from being shaken on my okay. turn yeah guys it's a new round I feel like it's going to be the last round everyone who's in this room right now Gears you're in the bathroom but uh, <laughs> uh, Kanan Perun, actually Perun, let's start with Perun and Isaac do a vigor check to recover from being shaken uh, I'm not going to do initiative for this. I'm just going to, we're just going to see if we can uh, uh, math this out. Yeah. Isaac Winters I, I fails. Uh, you are not shaken. Typical. Right. Kanan and Kanan and Perun, uh, make a, I'd say make whatever your main attack is right now. Kanan, it's going to be range. Perun, it's probably melee, I would imagine. 
Yeah. Uh, well, my, my pistol's jammed, so I would have to move in with the chainsword if I was doing anything. You can do a multi-attack to make a roll to repair first. Okay, what do I, what do I roll for that? Uh, the repair. Is there such thing as a grapple? Like, could I grapple him and, like, kind of, like, splay his chest back for... You know what? Yeah, make an ath- athletics. It's going to also do athletics, uh, opposed like athletics. Like, I'll, I'll move in around here and then just kind of, like, as I'm swinging around, kind of grab his arm and... It, fa- it rolled a two, so you just need to beat a two on athletics. You jump around. Uh, Kanan, did you roll a re- uh, repair check? Uh, I don't have that skill. So that's a 1d4 minus 2 <laughs> to try to repair it. You could just attack him. I'm kind of holding him there for you. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you can I'll just attack him with a chainsword then. All right, go ahead. There we go. Yeah, for sure. Eviscerated. Absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Amazing. Completely dismantled. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> just kind of hold it up with two hands and just lower it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Prune is kind of pushing a little at this as well. Uh, my, my, my friends, with that, you guys have cleared this research facility of its uh, weird black ooze zombie incursion, and. If everyone else is okay, we'll take a short break here. (laughs) Thank you all for listening to the No Fame Podcast. Be sure to leave a review on Apple Podcasts and Podchaser. It really helps our little indie production, and we always appreciate it. The best way to support the show is to follow our social media and tell your friends. The second best way to support us, if you're able, is on our Patreon, where we house all kinds of exclusive content for you. Check out nofame.ca for links to all of our content, and we will catch you later on. Did it open? Nope. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I okay, I tried this earlier too, and it didn't work. But I was like, maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I fully thought it was a problem on my side. Uh, it I opens for me, but I can't see it. Collides with le- no, it's okay. I'm just yeah. gonna delete the door. It's okay. Oh, there's two doors. That's why. Ah. Uh, okay. 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 I, I'm blaming the game, but I'm the one who wrote in the walls. So you know. Uh, <laughs> Thank you.